and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen and today I am filming in a new location as you can tell. But today I have a very special tag that I'm going to be doing with a very dear friend. We have decided to start the Feel Beautiful tag. I met Christina via Facebook in a Facebook uh, group and I just absolutely adored her. She is the kindest, most beautiful person in the entire world and she does have a YouTube channel so I will link it right here and I absolutely love her videos. They're charming, they are edited so well and I, I just really adore her as a person. This tag that we're going to be doing is I feel like going to be a very one close or one that's going to be very close to my heart and we are calling it the feel beautiful tag. This tag is going to be 10 10 items that help you feel beautiful. Now for those of you who aren't aware, which I haven't announced this on my channel, so if you don't know me personally, you probably don't know, but I recently went through a divorce. I've been divorced for about two months now, and so there's there have been a lot of changes going on in my life. Uh, it's been um, very emotionally hard. Now before we get any any further, I want you all to know that I believe each person is beautiful inside and out. I think that everyone should feel comfortable in their own skin and love yourself. Love themselves? Love themselves? Yourselves? Mm -hmm. But there are definitely times in our lives where it's much harder to do so, especially when you're going um, through <clears throat> difficult times or times where life is changing in general and it's hard to keep that part of you alive feeling beautiful and loving who you are for everything that you are not only your good things but your imperfections and it's difficult to find that balance of loving who you are and leading life. I've been very lucky to have such supportive friends, not only in my personal life, but also on social media, who just support me and make me feel beautiful. On this tag today, I'm going to be showing you 10 items, 10 beauty items that personally, when I put them on or when I feel kind of down and I wanna look hot, I wanna feel good about myself, I'll put these on and I instantly feel like 100% better. On Christina's channel, on her video, she's going to be focusing on a lot more things uh, like fashion and whatnot, but I wanted to focus just on makeup. Drink time. I am in no way saying that you have to wear makeup to feel beautiful. I just personally love makeup. It's one of my biggest passions, especially recently within the last few years. My love for makeup and beauty products has just grown immensely. And it is something that I literally just find tons of joy in. So today, this video is going to be about 10 products that make me feel beautiful. Now, I do have one product, but I'm not gonna include it because like I said, I wanna focus mainly on beauty. Um, items, but I'm wearing bow earrings today, and bows to me, if I ever wear a bow, I automatically feel super cute and super girly, and so I really love bows, and they're something that makes me feel better in an instant. I love hair bows, I love bows on shirts, I love bows everything. So, um, bows is a little fashion statement from me. Uh, Christina will have much more fashion on her channel, so go ahead and check that out. Okay, so now on to the actual beauty items. First thing I'm going to talk about is a lotion. I've mentioned most of these on my channel before, but this one is Japanese Cherry Blossom by Bath & Body Works. I'm not really one for smelly lotions. Typically, I only like like warm sugar, like, and that's the only thing I would ever, ever buy. But I got this as a gift, and at first I was like, oh great, a body lotion, ah. And then I tried it, I tried the shower gel, and I was like, oh, I love it, and the smell is just so nice. Whenever I put this on, I just feel like a goddess. I feel like I smell so good, which is so funny, because I'm not really much of, like I said, a scent a lotion scent type of person, but I instantly feel like a ton better. I feel beautiful. I feel like anyone who smells me will just love me. Next item is nail polish, and this is my favorite nail polish of all time. I am currently wearing it on my nails today. This is Julie G's nail polish in Peep Toad Pumps. Because I was a serious nail, nail biter. Like, you can ask anyone. Like, it was a serious issue, but 
I wanted to have nice nails for my wedding. And so I, did, it took me so long to grow them out. So I've started wearing warm nail polish and this is by far my favorite color. When I wear this, I feel classy, I feel elegant, I feel like my nails look beautiful and especially for winter coming up, this is gonna be a great color. My next item I am currently wearing on my face, it is lashes. Um, these aren't the lashes that I'm wearing. This was just a case that I found downstairs and I decided to bring it up. Um, but I am currently wearing the Demi Wis Wispies by Ardell. And <laughs> there is something that is so fun about lashes. Now they do take some time to get used to and if you don't put them on correctly at first you're like Whoa, and it's like totally a trip. Um, but when I have long lashes, I feel like so flirtatious and so pretty. So absolutely love, love my lashes. I don't really wear them on an everyday basis, but when I do, I'm like, mm, dang Gina. Dang Gina. My next item is going to be a foundation. This is a higher price point. It is the Naked Skin Urban Decay. I guess it's kind of like a mid price range because it's not like Dior. It's not like 60 bucks, but it's about 35 to $40 at Sephora or Ulta or anywhere where Urban Decay is sold. I am in the shade 0.5, the lightest, of course, and I absolutely love this because it is such a natural looking foundation. The name says it all, says it all Naked Skin. I love it because it gives me a good even coverage in the sense that it evens everything out but you can still see it like my freckles um, through the foundation and I feel like it gives my skin a glow there's my little sister hi Aisha hi, said that. <laughs> oh. I think I just got a visitor all right so I had a visitor <laughs> visitor I had a visit visitor so I had to take a break for my next product this is not going to come as a surprise to you guys um, but it is my BH Cosmetics bombshell bronzer in starlet oh, so pretty I absolutely love this bronzer whenever I put this on my face just feels so glowy and beautiful and I just absolutely love it it carves out my cheekbones it helps blend everything together and it's like the perfect makeup topper in the entire world. This makes any look look just like bang, on point. Love it! Now moving on to eyes. I don't know, I think I've mentioned this a few times and I'm not, not actually sure what shade this is. I got this in an Ipsy bag and I absolutely love it. It is my Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow. I am currently wearing it today on my eyes. Love this because it does not crease on me, which for those of you who have been watching my channel for a while know that I have a lot of like creasing issues with eyeshadows. And it looks like super dark. Like when I first put it on, I was like, oh, there's no way I'm going to be able to wear that. But when, or when I first watched it, but when you blend it out, it's just this beautiful, cool toned, like dusty brown color. And it just brings out my green eyes like crazy. And I like it because it's super quick and easy on the glow. And whenever I wear this, I get tons of compliments. So I super, super love this one. I look at it. And I see it on my eyes. It just feel warm and fuzzy inside. I know that sounds dumb that I get that from makeup, but I do. Um, I'm gonna kind of cheat. Sorry, Christina. You're probably not much of a cheater. I'm a cheater. I'm going to have 11 products. Let's just let's just face it. But my next product is something that I mentioned in a recent video, and it is Queen Phyllis by Bare Minerals. It is just the most elegant, beautiful highlight in the entire world. Whenever I wear it, I just feel like, like a princess. It is the most beautiful highlight shade and even just wearing it all over the lid just gives this beautiful glossy like shimmery look and you seriously feel and look like prince, a princess and I'm all about feeling like a princess so. I think most girls will say that if they had to choose one item, it would probably be mascara um, for like a must have. And I chose the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. This is just a, such an interesting formula and I've never tried another mascara like it. So I really, really enjoy this and I will actually probably buy the full size, which is saying a lot about a mascara. There's something about having 
nice lashes that makes your eyes stand out and just makes you feel so much more put together and beautiful. So mascara is a good one. Now on to my recent loves. Um, gotta go to the lip products. If I'm ever out and I just want a touch of color, I have love Shy Shine from MAC. It's, it is pink based, but it's like a pinky brown color. And I love this because I can just throw it on and I don't need a mirror and it instantly like it feels good on the lips and I feel like it's such a natural enhancement like it just enhances my lip color just a tad and it makes me feel so much better about my entire look and I always have this with me I have a feeling this is going to be a well it already is holy grail it's holy grail holy grail product you guys gotta love a bold lip gotta love a bold lip. There are some days where, and I never experienced this until after working in the beauty industry. Once I started working at Sephora and I had more opportunities to wear bold lips without people being like, on the street, you know what I'm talking about. You know those boys that are like, I like a natural look, I don't like anything with color. And then they see you naturally and they're like, hmm. I was just never really brave enough to venture into bright colors until I started working at Sephora. And now there is something that is just so empowering about putting on a bold lip. And when I put on a bold lip, I'm like, mm, no one can touch this. I am fierce. I feel like Beyonce. Why are all the people I'm ch choosing multicultural? I'm sure there are some fly, fly white girls. I feel like on top of the world when I have a good bold lip. And recently, my favorite bold lips to go to are the color pop lippy sticks. My t favorite two are ha hands down are these ones. There's LBB, which is so funny because it is a matte, but it feels so amazing on the lips. So, so amazing. Even though it's a matte, it's not drying at all. I feel like banging when I wear that. And when I wear that, I don't know what I was trying to say, when I wore that or when I wear it. And I also love the I Heart This color, which is a beautiful raspberry pink color and whenever I wear these I feel just like I feel so hip and fashion forward and I feel beautiful and I feel confident and there's something about finding the perfect bold lip to go with your complexion that just makes you feel like such a powerful important like confident woman but you wear it and you just feel like Katy Perry! Rah! And it's just so great. So, love these. My last products are the Glazed LA Girl Lip Paints. Really, really enjoy these. These are a very, very low price point as well. I believe they're about $4. You can buy them online. Absolutely love these. And this is what I'm wearing today. This is the color Blushing. I do, I don't feel like these are super staining, but I do feel like they wear really well on the lips and they smell lovely. They kind of have a minty smell, but it's not overbearing, so it doesn't feel like your lips are gonna fall off. Color pigment, pigmentation, phenomenal. I also really like Elude. This is a nudie pink color, and this is like another great go-to nude for me. So really, really love this one. There's something about lip products that can just change your entire look and the way that you feel, and I never understood the hype for lip products until I kind of started discovering that feeling of dang that that looks good this feels good it just like changes the way that I feel those are my options for my 10 things or 10 items that make me feel beautiful I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm going to tag a ton of people so I'll put them right here I'll also put them in the down bar, bar below if I didn't tag your name I still tag everyone in the entire world to do this because it's going to be such a fun tag and I really want to promote positivity more I feel like it's really easy to get bogged down now it's especially with how um how how media portrays what beautiful is and I think every person is beautiful in their own way including you and my little sister who is uh worming across the floor right now please go ahead and do this video if you're interested I love your faces and I will talk to you guys again later stay safe Bye.